So good morning, everybody, and you're all very welcome. My name is Dervla Dooley, and I'm from a place called Galway in the west of Ireland. Uh, so I first became involved with the ECD Global Alliance back in 2013. Uh, where I attended the first meeting in San Diego, the first patient and family gathering with my dad, who is an ECD patient. So I'm very grateful to be here with you today. And um, we're, we've got some really exciting talks lined up for you today. And we're really delighted with all of the work that the Global Alliance do and um, putting together this event today. So the goal of the ECD Global Alliance and is to help our community by furthering the understanding of erdheim chester disease. And before we get started, I just want to give a big thanks to all of the medical professionals and to the presenters who are going to be talking to us today. We're truly grateful for their involvement and for being here today and for their contribution to the ECD community. So as I said, we have several wonderful presentations lined up for you today. Um, but just before we get started, I'd just like to highlight a couple of housekeeping notes. So the first is regarding the evaluation sheets which are located within your pocket that you would have received, so the events package that you received at the registration desk on the way in. So please feel free to use these evaluation sheets to follow along throughout the day, um, to allow you an opportunity to comment and to remark on the various sessions which we will have today. Regarding questions, please do feel free to ask any questions after each of the speaker has completed their presentation. If we do happen to run out of time, which can happen at the end of each session, um, we will have a, sp a specific questions and answers period where you may ask your questions. So don't worry if you don't get time after each of the presentations. There is also note cards provided in your packet for you if needed. Um, so you may submit these questions to the registration desk during the break times and we'll ensure that the moderator will make sure that they are answered during the questions and answers period. There's also a note section on the last page at the back of your program if you need to record any questions and write down the answers so that you guys can take them home with you. Regarding breaks throughout the day, we have two coffee breaks. So the first will be at 10.40 a.m. or 22.11, and we will have another one at 3 p.m. We will have lunch at one o'clock, which will be served in building A in the Galileo room, and that's just outside um, to your left and down the corridor, but we'll help direct you guys come lunchtime. Um, and before lunch, we will ask, before you go for your lunch, we will ask that all attendees gather for a group photo. Um, it's really nice to have a photo and a record of everyone who has attended. It will likely take place outside, but again, I'll confirm this just before we break away for lunch. So just to make sure that all the presentations run smoothly, I'll be introducing each of the presenters, each of the speakers, and the title of their presentations. And all the speaker information is listed in your program, in your events packet, so you can see all of the speakers who are listed alphabetically um, if you do wish to ask any questions. And can I just ask, because we do have interpreters present, that where possible that all our guest speakers can speak as slowly um, and as clearly as possible because we have interpreters present for various languages and this will just um, allow them the time to keep everything running smoothly. Okay, so first I'd like to invite our co-host, if he's around, Dr. Lorenzo Dagna. Um, he'll give a welcome to the event and a brief overview of erdheim gesture disease followed by its drug management. Good morning, everyone. It's a great pleasure for me to welcome all of you here in Milan and in San Rafaele. Before starting my presentation, I would give some information about where we are in San Rafaele. San Rafaele is uh, the hospital where, which is hosting the, this event. 
and uh, it's a private no, hospital uh, con in convention with the national health system that has been founded nearly 50 years ago. And uh, this hospital has a long-standing tradition of putting together three different pillars, research, clinical care, and teaching. So since the very beginning, we have a hospital for clinical care for the patient, a research institute conjugating together basic research, translational research, and clinical research, and university teaching. We have departments that cover almost every speciality of medicine. And as you probably may have seen, we are expanding. And in a couple of years from now, we will be having a new department fully dedicated to surgery and emergency. We host roughly 800 physicians, more than 1,300 nurses and physiotherapists and roughly 400 technicians. We also have a research center, as I told you, with different research division centers institute that again cover virtually every part of medical care and research with more than 1,200 scientists working here and doing their best to improve patient and clinical care. As I told you, we have also a university, and again, it's quite interesting, the idea beneath this university. The idea of the founder, who was actually the founder of the hospital, was to study the human being as a whole. So we have three different faculty, medicine, psychology, and philosophy, to study man as a human being, as body, mind, and spirit to better understand the true nature of man. In this history, Sarafele contributed significantly to development of research. We performed back in 1990s, the first pancreatic islet transplantation, and then gene therapy, and then a number of procedures for cardiological diseases, and so on. We try to expand our horizon, and these are the institution with whom, with whom we collaborate throughout the world. Many of them are represented here in the most distinguished colleague that take part to this meeting. And we are also co-founder of a large European network of university hospitals throughout Europe again. And I also have a pleasure to welcome you in Milan, which is the hosting city for this meeting, in a specific year, which is the year in which this man Leonardo da Vinci, that actually celebrate the 500th anniversary of the death of Leonardo da Vinci. And indeed, you may have chances to admire some of his creation. The most notable of, what, of, of those are clearly the Last Supper, who's in Santa Maria delle Grazie, downtown Milan. And this is the Codice Atlantico, which is one of the largest book preserved by Leonardo that is preserved in La Pinacoteca Ambrosiana. Milan saw its tradition, but is also looking to the future with a lot of innovation, care for the environment, and good quality of life.
with this video, I also bring to every one of you the special wishes of uh, Giuseppe Sala, mayor of Milan, that personally sent us this video to be shown to you. And this is the first ever projection of this video, which will be the new promotional video for the city of Milan. And he was extremely glad to have this presented for this occasion. Milan, Sarafele, and we have also a Congress here, and uh, you are the protagonist as, other, as well as the other colleagues that will be following me in presenting and discussing with you some data. The, all this event will be taking place in this O, and I give you some housekeeping information. So we are now in block B here, you enter this way. Lunch will be served here in block A in this corner. So you can just walk out this room to the left, follow the corridor unless you will find a room for food. I kindly ask people that maybe need assistance to move a little bit ahead of the others in order to have more time for getting to the place and we may be asking you to wait a couple of minutes in order for people who need assistance to get the place for lunch in time. I don't want to steal any more time to your agenda and start so with a uh, scientific program. Again, welcoming you in Sarafele, Sarafele and Milan, two institutions strongly twinned. Milan, a city that, again, put together tradition and innovation. And we hope that we would have some time to take occasion and take a look at this wonderful city and also maybe to plan to be back because as you possibly know, we just won the, candid the, the candidacy for the Olympic Winter Games in 2026 with Cortina. And if you ne would ever come back then, probably you'll be also seeing our development as an institute. Again, welcome and good Congress work to every one of you. <laughs> 